Hi guys. Hello. I hope you can hear. She just sat on me. <laughs> sat on her. <laughs> it is Gina and Sarah here with Tipsy Tea Moms. Yes. I hope you can see us. We kind of have, or hear us rather. We had to have our phone kind of far away so you could see our little picnic area here. Um, but yeah, we're at the river. It's a gorgeous end of, what is it? Summer? Summer. Well, is it March break, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> end of March break. End of March break. Uh, yay, spring break yay. is coming to an end. Um, yeah, so we thought we'd get together. It's gorgeous here in Pemberton and do uh, another Tipsy Tea Mom video because I bet you missed us, didn't ya? <laughs> right? So we've got lots of stuff going on here. Yes. And the first thing is... Mm, some seeds. We had to sample the crackers. They're really good, but they have seeds in them. Yep, they sure do. <laughs> uh, we, we've made up a winter sangria, so we made it up ahead, put it in our copper press. Uh, it's got hibiscus, apple pieces, rose hip, pineapple pieces, elderberries, orange peels, almond bits, cinnamon pieces, black currants, papaya. So this probably pairs really well with red wine. Yep. And I don't know if we both posted in our uh, VIP groups. Um, Which is Gina's Tea Time and... When Sip Hits the Fan. Yeah. Uh, but I have I know I've posted about doing the winter sangria with a red wine. I haven't yet, sorry. But she will. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do today, though, is because we have some leftover Prosecco, we thought we would use that instead. Plus... We're gonna do it another way too. So winter sangria two ways. Yes, we're doing it. So and we've also got. Um, so we heard about um, an apple pie liqueur, but of course here in Pemberton they oh don't God. have it. So guess what they showed me to get? They it, it's like an apple. Um, uh, what did they call it? Moonshine. Oh, moonshine. <laughs> moonshine from the United States Woo! of America. So we've got some moonshine here, but it's apple flavor, apple pie flavor, just not quite the apple pie liqueur but whatever we're gonna give it a go and see what it's like so this was like $6.99 I was gonna buy each of us one and then I asked how much it was and he's like $6.99 I was like oh I'm just gonna put that one back, one back. <laughs> we're gonna share one so this is what we're doing so did you already pour that I totally even missed that well no because I was I was too busy talking about my moonshine <laughs> Okay, cheers. Cheers. Winter sangria with Prosecco. We'll just see how this tastes. By the way, we have um, orange, apple, and cinnamon stick in here just as a little garnish. That's good. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. This is a perfect way to end spring rain. Yeah. So this winter sangria would be perfect for like Thanksgiving if you guys are having people over for Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, just having the ladies over for breakfast for whatever. breakfast whatever you want oh mm -hmm. oh my gosh that is lovely that's really cheers nice again. cheers speaking of breakfast i made i made oh, hold the fort we've i got made, food i made some scones and look scone in a million <laughs> thanks so, tonya so scone in a million these million million <laughs> This is going in a million, everyone. Can you guys hear us? It's going in a million. Okay. <laughs> so in my scones. So this. Why yeah. don't you tell them about? Okay. This? So this these scones are absolutely so easy to make because I don't do well with any kind of bread type things she at does all. She not do very no. well. They never churn out. So this has churned out every single time I made it, and it's so fun because you can add anything you want to them. It's just the basic mix. And then we've got all of our seasonings here. So here's garlic chili. There's uh, Old smoke. And this one's delicious. So you can Smoky. make a, the, the, the savory. You can make them sweet by adding uh, fruit or whatever you want. They are so easy to make. And even the one time I thought that it wasn't going to turn out, it was kind of a wet, sloppy mess. But you know what? We turned out. They even have like sweet, deep mix. Sweet? <laughs> sweet, deep mixes. <laughs> Sweet deep meat. To go with our scone in a million. <laughs> and I will clean this up. I'm not littering. Dude. But look at I wanna show them the scone. <laughs> My one scone, I'm so proud of it. I just brought one scone because why not? So this <laughs> this scone.
one has. She ate the rest of them. I did. <laughs> Why do you tell on me? You're always throwing me under the bus. Uh, this one might use the. Do. Yeah, you're a good friend. <laughs> so sweaty right now. Stop touching me then. She's sexy. <laughs> so, garlic chili. We added garlic mm. chili. I did. Not we. I did. I did nothing. I'm to just going to eat it. Scone. And then I put a little um, pink Himalayan salt. Ooh, Himalayan salt. <laughs> yeah, do you want to actually try it on video or? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. I've already tried it, so I already know it tastes good. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's actually really tasty, Sarah. I know. Good job. Yeah, thanks. So this, mm, that savory, what did you put in there? The garlic chili. Oh my God, so the garlic. Oh, with a bit be, of shredded cheese. Yeah, I was just going to say though, to dip in like super stew, yum. Yum, you could have that at Thanksgiving mm -hmm. for breakfast. So good. Um, and then I also made a... I don't really know what this is called. I didn't, I don't even. It's a dip. It's a dip? <laughs> Unmovable dip. <laughs> so it's sour cream, cream cheese, old smoked tea. That's some sturdy dip. <laughs> I know. Uh, with some spinach, and then I heated it up. If I had artichokes, I would have thrown artichokes in there. But. It's cooled down, so now it's really hard. So I don't even think we're going to be able to put our crackers in there, but I am just going to try. I actually want to try. Oh, you can totally. What are you talking about? Here you go. Thank you. I've already tasted this, too. She better say it's good. Mm, no, it is good. It's, it's good, so right? Good. Mm -hmm. It's good with this smoked tea. So the their seasonings and spices are amazing for dips. Old smoked tea is my favorite. I make it... I put it on pretty much everything and you can make like um at the restaurant here they have um a mayonnaise uh dip where they put um, aioli garlic aioli smoked yeah well i think they use smoked paprika and then you dip your fries in it but i did it with the old smoked tea and it's so good it's yummy yummy mm -hmm. so you haven't finished your drink um, i'm the reason i'm trying to finish this drink so fast is because i am a lush but also because i want i won I want to show you guys the moonshine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So really, we were going to bring a whole bunch of teas, but we forgot. So now we're just making winter sangria two ways. Mm-hmm. Or three ways, because we have a cider back there, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And honestly, on a picnic. Am I doing it? Am I making it? Uh, oh, am I supposed to be doing something besides eating? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I want you to enjoy your food. Oh, I am. So Don't I've worry. actually added ice to this as well. Just saying. Okay. So I really, apple, what is this apple? Should I put in the rest of it? Hold on, might as well. So this is apple pie moonshine. Let's give it a go. $6.99. It, it better be damn give good. Give her a go, folks. Cheers. Oh, that's yummy. I actually like that better than the Prosecco. I like that better than the Prosecco. And this would actually be really good as a warm drink with a warm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? A nice hot sangria with that. Oh, good idea. Okay. Yum. Yeah, good thinking. Let's throw out the ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> Pick them out. And throw Let's them get up. a fire going so we can heat this baby up. Okay, you guys. I just want to tell one really quick story. Mm. I know you guys are all here for the tea or us, whatever. It's <laughs> fine. But I want to tell you one quick story. You know my dog. Yes. And you know how handsome is, he is, right? He's pretty damn cute. He's pretty handsome. So I guess he was left alone for 20 minutes. Let's just be clear. I was not at home. I was working and other people were at home supposed to be watching the dog. And so when I got home, I found this. <laughs> okay. I found this. So even handsome things have their flaws. <laughs> Funny thing is, is we had gone for a walk the day before and I was commenting on how cute her Saying runners how were. how cute my <laughs> shoes were. So that's a $100 mm. shoe he just ate. So you know what every good dog mom Guys, does? Guys, he's handsome though, so it doesn't matter. I shamed him on Facebook. Mm. I took a picture of this shoe and I took a picture of him and I shamed him on Facebook. And thank you to everybody who helped me shame him. 
There you go. He learned his lesson. <laughs> Did he though? I read, no. <laughs> but I was reading him all the comments. Perfect, okay. Anyhow, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Uh, Gina's Tea Time, Sarah's When Sip Pits the Fan, Gina and Sarah's Tipsy Tea Moms. On YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, anyways, hope you guys also enjoy your day. We are going to sit here and enjoy our bevies and our picnic. Oh, do you want to get mine too? <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <coughs> I'm just going <laughs> to... Can you turn it off? Oh, Sarah can't do I hers. Can't Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're still going.